Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with the Power Automate series and in this video we will learn how we can post a message to the teams when an item in a SharePoint list is modified. So suppose there is a scenario in which there is an inventory list in the SharePoint and you want everybody in your team to be notified if any item is modified in your inventory list. So that thing will that scenario will capture in this video so let's go to the lab and i'm going to my sharepoint site so this is this is my sharepoint site i'll create one list name it inventory list asset manager list and then use this template asset manager i'll type inventory list and then i'll create Now I'll add one item. Now it's this inventory is available. Now suppose in a scenario where somebody from the team comes and change any information for this inventory, all the team members should be notified with the changes. So let's go and create one flow regarding this. So we'll go to the Power Automate and these are the flows which we created in our previous videos. I will highly recommend to watch my previous videos if you have not watched so. So we'll create the new flow using the template itself so the template that i will use is post a message to teams so now there are so many templates post a message to the microsoft teams when an email arrives post a message to when an planner so teams if item added so if i might so post a message to the teams if an existing item is modified in the SharePoint list. Now if somebody goes and modifies any of the information in my list, suppose he goes and change the status to unavailable or he goes and change the price of the inventory. So everybody in the team should be intimated that these, this thing has changed. So now teams is not there. I'll sign in. Now it's there now before i go i'll create one channel in the team also so this is my teams at currently only general is there so i'll go and create one more channel so add channel and i'll create testing and then i'll add it's a standard so everybody will be able to see it now this is a testing channel so it will be posted here the message will be posted here so i can go and click continue Now when an item is modified, so I'll select the site name. This is my test to site name and the SharePoint list which I have missed inventory list. Uh, you can check the name here inventory list. Now site address again because it's fetching the data. So test to and the SharePoint list name would be inventory list. And that's all what we can do now here post message to teams i'll select the teams so i test one this is the teams and the channel it won't now i created one channel for the posting so testing channel i created you can see this testing channel i created just now so this testing i'll select and then i'll click save okay your flow is ready so now i'll go and modify this list item from available to not available so i'll add it and then i'll change the status that it is not available it is already reserved i'll change this and i'll change save now the status is changed now the flow will run and it will put a message in my channel so i'll wait for the flow to run so it could take around two to three minutes
okay so now you see it is started and it is running the message and it is succeeded meaning it has posted the message in the teams so i can go and check on the teams i can reload this and the message should be posted in the teams okay now you can see yeah, it has posted the message item so this was the image one item has been more updated so here the link is also there so here the link is also there you can click here and then you will be redirected to the inventory list so all the members who are there in this channel will be notified that something has changed in the inventory list so this is how we create the flow i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much